Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction to the 2-1 win against Motherwell in the Premiership today. A bit later than normal, but I've, I've had family things to deal with today. But uh, So I've not yet had a chance to listen to anybody's reaction, but that was absolutely brutal. <laughs> it really was. And once again, we made it hard for ourselves. How many more times do we need to do that? That's the third time now in the league this year where we've been 2-0 up, relatively comfortable performance and uh, result wise and then we've gave away a silly silly goal to make it nervy for the last 10-15 minutes just absolutely ridiculous now and a, a ridiculous goal to lose as well we got the three points at this stage though I'm almost at the point of does that paper over cracks because today was another really brutal performance lackluster a lot of players I mean they were there I find it hard to say that they were trying but the just the, the lack in quality today was was there to see and big holes in midfield, which is really surprising considering that you know we're only playing with one up front and we should have a spare man there. But the midfield there's just big gaps all over the place. But getting into the game, we made three changes from that Liverpool annihilation. We lined up McGregor, Tavernier, King, Davies, Barisic, Lundstrom, Arfield, Tillman, Matondo, Cholak, and Kent. On the subs bench, we have McLaughlin, Ridvan, Davis, Sands, Morelos, Wright, McCann, Sakala, and Devine. So a couple of glaring ones there straight away. Davies was playing, so obviously his injury wasn't as bad as we all thought. Tillman coming in as well. Really strange one that, which we'll get into obviously shortly and no Sakala which was another big disappointment I would have said considering he has been one of the better players over the last couple of games but the first half really really brutal first half really struggling much to talk about never mind much positive that, that there was there creating very little what we were creating we were choosing the wrong option every single time a severe lack of creativity some players doing the bare minimum and some of the players the game was completely bypassing them a feature of our team this year is, as I said, we're losing out in midfield, which, again, as I said, is absolutely astounding considering we should have the spare man, considering the absolute refusal to play two up front. At the end of the first half, I thought this is a big 45 minutes to save Gio's career at Rangers, and I'm not too sure, <laughs> even if it, if it does, to be honest, because... Uh, the second half really wasn't much better. No substitutions at half time, which was absolutely baffling considering there's a few players that the, the game was a, a completely miss for them. One of them, I would have said, was Tillman. However, he did come up with an absolute incredible goal on the 53rd minute. An absolute stunner, uh, single-handedly picked up the ball from midfield. He drove the ball forward right through a gaggle of about five Motherwell players into the box and he chips it past the keeper. That is what's so frustrating about that boy. 500 minutes of absolute disinterestedness and then 30 seconds of absolute sublime magic from him. Where that came from in the game, I do not know because it came from absolute nowhere. He was absolutely garbage today up until he scored the goal. And then after he scored the goal, I felt he was actually quite decent. He was putting in a good few ch challenges as well, trying to make things work. But that play apart, we were pretty garbage today. Made a couple of substitutions after that on the 65th minute, Arfield and Matondo off, Davis and Wright came on, so again really like for like, granted maybe a good thing that Arfield came off but because the, the game did bypass him, but to bring on Steve Davis is not really the answer, we're, we're looking for more of a creative player than a, than a holding player and Davis has got his good points absolutely but really not the, the type of player you want to bring on here. However, we did go two up on the 69th minute, just a short time after, and it was Lundstrom scoring. Barisic with a corner from the left, Lundstrom running in, he put his head down to it, got his head, and the ball seemed to flick off the boot of the, of the defender. Bit of fortune in it, but we'll take it every which way it came. You know, at that stage, we thought, I sent, I sent a message to my dad, that was the game pretty much over at that point. However... We always contrive to make things difficult for ourselves because in the 77th minute, Motherwell made it 2-1 from a, what seemed to be a cross. I'm not too sure how much he meant it and it had no business going in whatsoever because it was on the left-hand side, a free kick. It was a good bit outside the box, round about halfway into the box and the free kick was floated in. It was almost as if it was looping in for looking for somebody for a header at the back post. But no, I don't know what the hell happened with McGregor. Maybe the sun got in his eyes, but he never even went for it and it looped into the top right corner. A bizarre, bizarre goal to lose. Ultimately, if the sun was in McGregor's eyes, you wear a hat. That's all 
that you can say about that. That's once again, this should have been McGregor's. That was all down to McGregor, that one there. Yes, he might have been blinded by the sun, but he can do things to mitigate it. That was just absolute piss poor from the keeper there. And as I said, we made it difficult for ourselves. I wouldn't say it was backs to the wall after that. It was certainly more kind of 50-50 possession, but we created absolutely nothing. 80th minute, Cholak off of Morelos on. Once again, a like-for-like -like substitution. Just play two strikers, for God's sake. What is it we're asking? Two strikers in the last 10 minutes of a game. Is, is it really asking that much, Gio? And then that's really how the game rounded out. So we got away with it there. As I said, it maybe just papers over the cracks at this point. I think the tide is, is, is turned for, for Gio now. I would love love it for him to turn everything round and us now go on a, a massive winning streak, putting in some good performances. But today was another one of these performances where, granted, McGregor never really had much to do, but the one thing he did have to do, he absolutely buggered it up. And we never we never seen the bite from the players that you would have really expected. And there's a lot of tactical issues still with that gaping hole in the midfield where we're getting overrun as well. It's really not good enough at this stage. Another team more clinical would have, again, maybe beat us in this one. We got the three points. That's about as much as we can take for it. I, I just really fear now it's more a matter of time rather than if he's going to get the boot. I want to be proven wrong. Anyway, that's another game done. Three points in the bag. Moves us on now until Wednesday night. That's a, a game against Dundee in the League Cup I think that's quarter final, semi final. I don't even know at this stage. It's in the League Cup anyway. Really, really stupid kickoff time, as we said, quarter past eight. But we need to get that victory in. Let's hope it doesn't go into extra time and penalties afterwards as well. So, as ever, you can go to our usual podcast outlets as well as our website, iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com. And you can find the stuff that we do there. Dave and I won't be back. Dave's, you know, sending me pictures from Tenerife while I'm sitting freezing at home. But that's Dave for you, isn't it? Hope he's having a good time. We'll be back maybe next week, the week after. Thanks for listening and goodbye. <laughs>